Hey guys and welcome back to another short weapon review and gameplay. Now today we're taking a look at the brand new WE E-Force MMP. Now of course we have seen other MMPs from WE before, but as you can tell straight away, this weapon is definitely something a little bit different. Now with the E-Force version of WE's MMP, you get all the usual things you've come to expect from WE pistols. Pretty good, solid build quality, very reliable, especially for the price. This gun comes in at just under £150. But on top of that, you get this very cool customized style look. You have a salient arm style slide with the cuts away in the front, which of course does reduce weight and make it look pretty cool. You have the stippling on the rear of the slide, making it easier to cock, especially if you have slippy hands or gloves on. And of course, you have all the stippling on the lower polymer receiver. Now, the MMP itself comes in a range of colors. As you can see here, I'm using the black and tan version with a gold inner barrel, which looks pretty cool because you can see it through those vents in the slide. Of course, you can get it with a silver inner barrel as well. And of course, you can get one with a full black lower body. Now, the only downside, of course, about that paint job is the gold inner barrel does scratch off very, very quickly, especially on the shell ejection port. Of course, every time you fire the weapon, the slide is sliding backwards and forwards over that gold paintwork, and it isn't very long before it starts to come away. Literally, I've skirmished this probably twice now, probably put about 100, 120 rounds through it, and already scratches are starting to take away that paintwork on the gold inner barrel. So it is a little bit of a disappointment, but of course these things are expected. Now the weapon itself comes with a 22 round green gas magazine, which so far I've had no issues with at all. Apparently some of the older MMP weapons did have a little bit of a jamming issue with the magazine, but so far this new version with all the skirmishes I've used it for has not had a single issue. So, so far I am pretty pleased. Now for any of you guys out there with maybe smaller hands, you'll be pleased to know this weapon actually comes with five different rear grips. So if you want a fatter, chunkier grip that you can get your hands around, or maybe you want a really small grip like myself. I like to have a tiny grip so I can really get my hands tight around the handle of the weapon and make sure it doesn't slip or drop. So if you are into changing around those grips, that is also an option. And they do also come in very hot pink as well. So if you are a female player and you want to customize your weapon a little bit, you do have some pink grips as well. Now, so far in the nice warm weather we've been having here in May and June in the UK, I've been getting about 40 shots out of a full magazine of gas coming in at around 320 FPS. So overall, so far, I really am enjoying this pistol. I think it performs well, it looks cool, it feels very substantial in the hand. So if you are in the market for a new sidearm, but you don't want to have the usual Glock that you seem to see every player using, this is definitely a gun I would recommend checking out. So if you would like to know more about this gun, I will leave a link to JD Airsoft in the description below where you can pick up one of these for yourself. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment below. But in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.